All right, welcome back. This is M Dog, and we're going to start another run. I don't think we unlocked a new deck yet. Oh, we have to win a run with red to unlock the next deck. So hey, we might as well do that, right? <laughs> we have never won a run, so let's don't get ahead of ourselves. I do want to mention once again, uh, it's Blunty made a comment on the last video that I released. Again, thanks for being a member and seeing these videos. Uh, so quickly and early, but um, he says, so I think you figured it out, but just to clear it up. That's uh, very, very kind of you to okay. assume that I have figured anything out in this game. Although I will say, I, I can't exactly say what I'm understanding, but I feel like I'm just right on the verge of a breakthrough. Uh, on the left, the blue box is the chips and the red box is the malt. Once all the cards you play in hand are applied, effects and jokers are added to those blue and red boxes, and then the chips, blue box, are multiplied by the molt red box, and that's the score for the hand. For example, if you played a hand with five face cards, that hand will have a base, chips, blue box, and multi red box. You can see on the run info screen. Let's pretend it's 50 chips and five molt. 50 in the blue and five in the red, so each face card is plus 10 chips. So that's plus 50 on the blue, and now we're at 100 chips. So say you have two jokers, a 10 plus 10 multi-joke and a times two multi-joke. So that's the base five plus 10 equals 15 times two. So that's 30 multi. So the hand total is 100 times 30 or 3000 chips. I hope that made some kind of sense and wasn't too dense. You can slow down the game speed and watch each card apply to the numbers on the left as the game counts each one up. That's awesome. Thank you again, Blunty. Um, so Yes, that's actually helpful to remember that when we're looking at all the effects on these cards, the chips is the blue and the molt is the red. And to actually get those really high scores, like, yes, having a high molt is important, but you can't completely ignore the chips. Something like that. All right, so we're going to try red deck again. It's been a long time since we played red deck. Plus one discard. I think the discards are so important. So it makes sense that the very first deck would actually focus on an extra discard. I think we'll keep it at two for now. All right. So the skip is next base edition shop Joker becomes foil. And foil gives you plus 50 chips. I'm not going to skip. It had to be an amazing skip for me to skip this run. I think that's what I'm going to say. So we do have a uh, double pair. We really should be able to figure out how many points this would be. Is it straight 40? Let's see. Two pair. None of them are face cards. So 10, 14, 18. I think it'd be 76. I could be wrong, but that's what I'm thinking it would be. All right, what do we want to do here? We could go for diamonds. Let's go for diamonds. I think that's the easiest way to try to one-shot this. So when I say one shot it, obviously we're going to do a discord discard, but we want to try to win this on the first hand. I think that gives us more money. All right, there it is. One, two, three, four, five flush. That should be 300, right? 35 times four. Mm. We did not one shot that. We were close, but we didn't quite uh, one shot it. So we don't have, I think we would have had 10 maybe. I don't remember. All right. So first we have a non discovered joker. Played cards with club give plus four. So at least that gets us on the board with some malt. 
It's got to be worth it, right? Ah, we should have done this. See, we're already making mistakes this run. We should have done Buffoon and just gone one of four. I can't tell you how close I am to restarting this run. So this just got, we got to go with clubs here. We'll see if we can focus clubs. Two, three, five, six. I'm going to try to get clubs. All right, a flush and it's clubs. So here's my theory that I'm working with right now is that we want to commit to these jokers. Even if we had like a straight, if it doesn't commit to the joker, we're not getting bonuses. And you've got to have bonuses, it seems like, in this game. All right, so here's a buffoon pack. So we could go clubs and face cards. That's not bad. But let's let's do this. Okay. This um this is going to reward This is going to reward having lot a big deck which is kind of the opposite of what you normally want to do in a deck builder but we can go with that uh i wonder if we go ahead and actually get this as well we can afford it both of these just give us plus four these just both seem like early game things not late game but that's okay discard two random cards per hand played okay so we want clubs and face cards Okay. Actually, both of these are interesting. This one for sure. We're going to add cards to our deck as much as we can. Odd rank. I'm going to I'm going to do it. Um plus 30 chips. And then we've got plus molt and then we've got an early way to times it. I like it. Okay. So just as a reminder, we want big big deck, odd cards. We especially want club suit and face cards to score. And we eventually want to maybe create some more uh, clubs. Although, again, this probably won't be the the long game strategy. But for these early antes, early rounds of these antes, then I just think this is the way to go. Would be nice to get some more money though. All right, so this is not discovered. Below 52 in your deck. 
Every played card counts in scoring. Nah, that's not for this this run. We don't care about the reroll cost, I don't think. Um, planet cards. So neither one of these actually add cards to our deck. So I'm going to, I'm going to save this time. All right. So all diamond cards are going to be debuffed in the, in the upcoming boss battle, but here in the big blind, we know what we want to do. Okay. So this is a little different here, right? We're just a joker away from getting a straight. And we also just don't have any clubs anyway. Eight, nine, 10, we're still the same thing. But now I think we, do something like this. We have two discards left. So now we're all in for clubs. And we barely got it. All right, so we have been one-shotting most of these. We didn't one-shot that first one, but we eventually got on uh, got on a roll. Um, this one's not discovered, so it's tempting just for that. Enhances one into a glass card. I don't know if I want to spend money on that, but we can do this. Uh, six is fine. We'll see what we get. I mean, we have been, look at this, five flushes. We've only turned in flushes. So straight flush could be good maybe. Um, we're trying to get five of the same suit. Like, I think we could end up at straight flush. But maybe full house? I mean, I think full houses just happen sometimes. And it's nice to feel good about full houses. The, the question is, do we think straight flush or full house is gonna happen more often? I don't know. I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go full house for now. So we still have $8, but we're gonna, we're just gonna go all right, so all diamonds are debuffed. Which we're not counting on diamonds anyway. We're mostly counting on clubs. Um, oh, two, three, four, five, six. Do we just throw the straight in? I think so. And then if we need to kind of readjust after that, that's fine. This isn't that much, but, oh, it almost did. Holy cow. All right. We should get a pretty big score here. I don't know that big score matters at this point. We just need that extra 32 points, but. We crushed it. This must be randomized on how much molt it's going to add. Bonus cards plus 30 chips. That's kind of nice. Planets, planets. Do we want to add planets? See, we want to add playing cards. Hundred four played cards with odd gives 30 chips. I think I'm going to delete this one and take this one. Wait. Uh, I think that's okay. Misprint. All right. We're going. After feeding the boss blind, gain 15. 
Uh, lose one dollar per card played for the tooth. Do we need to save up some money for that? How does that work? We have so many pairs here. We've got two of a kind. Um, let's just play two pair right now. And sort of reset. Hopefully we'll get a bunch of clubs. Oh, I should have played a fifth card. What am I thinking? That was a rookie mistake. We have another pair. We still need to get some get some things going. We still have three discards though. 10, 9, 8, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Uh seven, seven, eight, two tens. This just seemed too easy to get it, right? That flush. Right now, Gluttonous Joker has carried us, right? I don't know that Gluttonous, like, hangs out at, uh, becomes an uh, in-game carry, but early game, definitely. $2 from scored face cards. Wow. All right. I think spectral just seemed really, really powerful. Let's, let's check this out. Add a blue seal to one selected card in your hand. Creates a random rare joker. Sets money to zero. Uh, we'll put it we'll put this on the club because we're gonna want clubs so we'll have it in our hand and then if we don't need the club then we can uh... level up straight high card or four of a kind let's level up four of a kind I don't know it does seem like we're forced to take straight sometimes I guess it's just like a protective thing or something. All right, so lose $1 per card play is what's coming. So we're trying to save a little bit of money, not understanding how fully how that works. All right, what are we doing here? Now we're going clubs, I would say. Wow. It's actually hard to believe that we were able to discard that many times to get those couple of clubs, but we did it. Now the question is, how much more will we need? All right, one more score here. So here is two pair and maybe get rid of the seven. We still have two more hands to hit this. I forgot about, we still have that face card. times X for each empty Joker slot. Don't you kind of want to see a run where this is the only thing we use? It'd be like times five if you use the black deck, I think. All right, standard pack. This is what we need. We need these standard packs and we can afford both of them. So currently this Joker is at plus one. Ooh, what is this? This is a club though. All right, we gotta take the club. We wish it was face card, but that's fine. All right, so that one, now it's 1.25. Of course, we get the standard pack. 
and we take the club, right? I think so. For now, at least. All right, let's see how this works. We've got $11 per card played. Held in hand. Two, three, four, five. Okay, we just need one more. We just need one more. Oh my goodness. So we got one pair. It's weird. <laughs> All right, how short are we gonna be? Like we gotta get lucky here. We only got two hands left with no discards. Oh, never mind. We're still doing the clubs thing. Um, Mega Celestial Pack. Choose two of five planet cards. All right, let's just do three of a kind here. We still have the, I don't, I don't think we do have the odd thing anymore, do we? All right, standard pack. That's what we want all day, right? The only thing that bothers me is that we are just short on, um, short on money. All right, we're coming up with minus one hand size. It's gonna be a little harder to get that. So nine out of, 15 we're hitting the flush Ooh, this one does not look like a, fu a flush though does it one two it's a pair do we discard or do we or do we play a pair I think I'm gonna play it. Because we have so few clubs, this at least gets us on the board. I, I don't know, it just feels less helpless. Again, so few clubs. We have so many clubs and we're just not, we don't have them in hand. Uh, three of a kind, I guess. I hate to give up a club, but yes, we probably should. Actually, how many spades do we have? We've got spades. What if we get rid of, no, let's don't, let's don't, let's don't, let's don't outthink ourselves here. It's kind of, kind of weird, but I, I think this will be okay. I mean, we are so close. We still have two hands, haven't used discards. We, I think the best thing might be to just limp over the finish line here without because we'll get full credit for having discards left and 
to try instead of trying to like build that up to some incredible amount. All cards are considered face cards. All right, so let's see where we're at here. I really like <laughs> comboing this with the smiley face. Does seem good, but what are we um, what are we giving up for it? Misprint. It's just more consistent. Every face card is going to have plus four mutt. Let's try it. I feel like you want it to be all cards are considered face cards and then smiley face played face cards give plus four. We do still want club as much as possible. Neither of these add playing cards to our deck so I think we can just safely okay this will be interesting with one less hand size we're going to really work towards that club flush here this was actually not a bad score though, considering sort of what we're doing. All right, so we want to discard and hit a club. All right, and this is one of those situations where this is why you, one strategy seems like would be to put blue seal or something like that on a card you actually want. Because in these cases, you get enough clubs where like I don't actually need to use it, so it's still in my hand. We'll see how it plays out because we might actually have to play a whole nother hand, but that was what I was thinking when I put it on a club. Yeah, so now that's stuck in the hand. It gave us um, it gave us Venus, which is cool. All right, so cash out. We're getting a little bit of money going now. Um, I mean, if we were doing straights, we've only hit one straight, but that is such a cool card if we were doing straights. Ooh, I like plus one to hand size for sure. What if we do plus one to hand size and standard pack to get this up to 2.25? I know it like knocks us off the amount of money we've been making, but all right, we just do clubs. This is gonna get really interesting because I'm just not sure if this will be strong enough. Like as we get to, I don't know, down the line, six ante, maybe seven ante, I don't know. But for right now, seems like we're still good. All club cards are debuffed. Okay, so we're in trouble. We either have to pivot or look for a way to re-roll that. Aren't there sometimes ways to re-roll it? Double your money. All right, I think we're in trouble. All right, so that's three of a kind. I'm not sure how we um, how we avoid that. Well, we definitely can add this for one thing.
Do we continue with our strategy and just hope we figure out a way past the boss? Or do we actually like start taking cards outside of Joker? I'm sorry, outside of clubs to again, sort of pivot. Just, this may just end up being really unlucky. Uh, we'll see though. All right, three of a kind. And then full house. see this shop we have 10 add standard pack this gets it up to maybe 2.75 uh, okay So we're just going for hearts right now. Okay, that's kind of cool. I don't know how much we get for it because we're not getting the club's benefit obviously, but that's still a nice first hand. Now we do a straight. Do we like a straight here or a diamond flush? I think I like the straight. It uses no clubs. We got past it. Okay. Permanently gain one discard per round. That's also really good. All right. Oh, we reroll the boss if we need to. Cards drawn face down after each hand played. Maybe we just go with that. I don't know. All right. Two, three, four, five, seven, nine, ten. We're just like dying for a straight here. What do we keep? Um, I guess the two. Get rid of the two, so then we have seven, nine, ten, because we don't have six anyway. Yeah, I think that's fine. Full house, we just play it. I like that re trigger there. Just enough. So I think we should have to start asking ourselves what, I mean, we're comfortable here right around this spot, but what, what pushes us to anti late six, seven and eight? Well, 
Well, we can take a standard card for sure. We've been a little short on money this whole run. Um, when discarded. That's kind of cool. Let's take that. All right, we got to get 30K. Oof. Diamonds. Oh my goodness, I just assumed we got it. Okay. Two, three, four. Oh my goodness. Okay. And then we need to throw away something. We gotta get moving here. We gotta get 30K. Wow, okay. Ace, king. We're just missing a queen, right? Um. We still have some discards though. All right, I like this. I like this. Coming in, we still got two discards, two hands. This should push us pretty close. Mm hmm. Very nice. Okay. Straight, two pair. Planet cards, tarot cards. We have 13, we still have seven if we do this. I kind of like creating um, Creating, turning this two into a blue sealed ace of clubs. Oh, no, let's just get three clubs. The moon? Yeah, that's an easy decision. Okay, this first round is so important, right? Is it going to show us what these are after we do this? I don't think it is. So I actually think what it wants us to do is just waste these, waste this discard and then we're going to be able to see them, right? But I'm thinking we actually do the opposite. I can see these cards and I know we don't want them. One, two. We don't know what that plays, but we just try it? No, because at the end of the round, it's going to send the same stuff back, right? So now we discard? I don't know. So that might have been a weird way that I did that. I think that gets us there though, especially with this bonus. All right. We took a weird route, but we got there. Standard pack.
Oh, wow. Uh, so this is a spade with foil. Plus four molt. And a blue seal. It's polychrome. 1.5 times molt. That's really nice, but this is clubs. Yeah, I just think that taking this... Now, I'm, I'm realizing that we are um, vulnerable. We haven't figured out an additional way to multiply, although we have done a really good job of getting hologram leveled up, and that has certainly grown with us, and that helps. But I think ideally we might have wanted to at some point around now have had a chance to switch to a second times Joker. Uh, and we just haven't been able to. So um, I don't see consumable slot right now being the answer. So we're just going to go on. Um, next base edition shop Joker becomes foil. So at this we have to worry about the wall extra large blind blinds. We have a, a really, really large mon monetary amounts. So even if we get there, that's going to require a really nice uh, round, I would say. Um, this is one of those strange situations. Do we... 7, 8, 9, 10... Do we um, re-roll or do we... turn in this pair it doesn't do a lot for us I just don't know that I'm willing to give up on this straight possibility yet or the club okay Okay, so this should be a pretty good. Yeah, it's 24K right there. Held in hand at the end of the round. And we just need 1K. take a chance or do we just do it what does it do it creates a planet card all right let's see i'm gonna try one more discard all right, that did it. I don't know if that was worth it. I think it was. Levels up straight flush. So we've had zero straight flushes for what it's worth, but it's also possible we could like sell it if we needed to, I don't know. All right, every played card Permanently gains plus four chips when scored. Wow. Played face cards get plus 30 chips when scored. That kind of goes well with, um, with smiley face. Every, so five cards is going to get us 120. Like, I think this is better than Blue Joker. And I just bet it's too late for Hiker, right? I think 
I could be wrong, but I just think that's better than than the Blue Joker. We'll see. Uh, I don't know if we'll be able to see, but that's just my that's my theory. So we'll take a standard pack. And we'll take this. Interesting. I'm going to take two pair. I'm just curious, how much money do we get for two pair right now? That is really good. We want to discard this. Birds up to three cards to clubs. Five, six, seven, nine, ten. All right. So these have more chips. That if this doesn't do it, we've already got four clubs in hand, so I think this is might just do it though. Nope, not quite. All right. Another flush. I think we do this one. I think we just do it for the money, right? I mean, we don't want to level up straight flush again, I don't think. Maybe three of a kind. I, I don't. We've got so many clubs in the deck now. We're just going to be hitting mostly flushes, I would say. This is the last seven. Okay. This isn't the last. I don't know what I'm saying. All right. How do we get 140K? We just never hit that second multiple multiplier, but um, all right. So theoretically, wait, is this a club? It is. All right, four, five. All right, so that's going to be a nice flush to start off with. That looks so weird because it's a foil. All right. This would be a good score. We gotta get 140K. That's gonna be, <laughs> okay. We just need something like that again, right? All right, so we want to, yeah, discard those. Holograms at 3.5. All right, one, two, three, four, five. Another flush, but none of the trigger twice. We still have two hands left.
One hand left. We need 15, 14 and a half K. All right, it's the first time we've reached anti eight, by the way. Cash out, 27. All right, what can we get here? Um, plus 10 molt, oh, plus 10 molt, not, not like times 10 molt, plus 10 if it contains a flush. Out of curiosity, we've only had a flush 22 times. So, I mean, that's like almost a must pull for us. Um, the question is, what do we give up for it? I mean, four times five is 20. I guess this is just twice as good. That's also 20, which is better. So, so never mind. I don't know that that's that good for us at this point. Oh, I like death a lot. Okay. Um, twice as often. I think we get this and then I think we re-roll. Plus one molt per hand played. No. Plus 150 chips if played hands is four of a kind. That's not likely with us. All right, let's get... Hey, this one's not discovered. Let's just get that. Level up straight. We won't flush if we have it. Okay, we don't have it. Full house, pair, or straight. What are we more likely? Full house twice. Straight, pair, or two pair. Straight pair or two pair we've had a lot of two pairs but I don't know that that's recently I'm gonna do two pair though okay I think we're going on uh, what's the boss blind flips and shuffles all joker cards what does that mean hold on that could be terrifying oh it keeps the same ones they're just going to be in different order that's got to be what that means is are we okay with that amber acorn Okay, I do think the way I'm reading this is correct. <sighs> do we re-roll it? It's definitely a pain, right? I, I think I'm gonna re-roll it. Forces one card to always be selected. Okay. All right. 75,000 on this one, by the way. Okay. That's a good start. Um...
think I'm just gonna keep clubs again. We have enough to we have enough to do that. Oh, wow, we got diamonds. Okay. Let's re roll. All right. I think we're just heading. Okay. This is it. Final boss. We need 100K. This has to be selected. This is, this is actually brutal, isn't it? Okay. Oh, what is this? Oh yeah, we can't do anything about, it. okay. Select two cards. Convert the left card into the right card. What if this messes up with this? I actually better not do this right now. don't know if we get there. I think we do this. Okay. Ah, oh, perfect. Perfect. We did it. it so we won our first our first red deck times three molt if played hand has a scoring diamond club heart and spade card times four molt if played hand contains four of a kind, that's really cool. That'd be fun to go for. <laughs> Copies abilities of Joker to the right. Oh my goodness. 
Magic deck with a run with red win a run with red deck on any difficulty. Start run with crystal ball voucher and two copies of the fool. <laughs> That's cool. Times three molt on final hand of round. I actually don't really like that one, but Retrigger all face. Retrigger all played face cards. Wow. That goes well with that whole uh, face card thing we had. Imagine the collection. All right. Hey, we won our first red. I had a feeling we were close to a breakthrough. I really did. Uh, that was fun. That was a lot of fun.